Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to be celebrating the USS Illinois today right here in the capital of the state of Illinois. Back in February, this August body adopted House Resolution 200, which celebrated the upcoming commissioning of the newest fast attack submarine in the United States Navy, the USS Illinois. On behalf of all the members of the House, Representative Jeannie Ives and I were proud to sponsor the resolution. While I myself did not serve in the Navy, I have several personal connections to those who have served, including my father, my uncle, and my very good friend, Chairman Len Wass of the USS Illinois Commissioning Committee. However, a very close friend of my, from my childhood, Jeff McCauley, is still serving in the Navy. Jeff and I grew up together, we went to grade school together, junior high, high school, and the first year of college. After our first year of college, Jeff received an appointment to the Naval Academy in Annapolis. Since then, he's had a distinguished career in the Navy, and I'm proud to say that he's currently serving our country as the commander of Task Force 56 in the Arabian Gulf, based in Bahrain. We email back and forth pretty regularly, and I told him about the House Resolution for the USS Illinois and the Commissioning Committee event earlier this month. I asked him for any advice he had for me and for the crew. He sent back to me this note. He said, to the commanding officer and the crew of the USS Illinois, this is awesome. Tell them that they represent and carry the great name of Illinois. It's part of America's heartland, full of Midwesterners that know hard work, sacrifice, and how to lend a hand to others. It's a great responsibility to bear that name, so honor it. And all the Illinoisans who have served in our armed forces, and especially the Navy. To me, he wrote, what a great honor. Take something to the ship for their Illinois room, something from Niasi Township where we grew up, or Kendall County, contribute to the whole thing in that way. Take some dirt in a container, part of the state itself from a field. They need to sail with a chunk of the state with them. Hell, I'd be honored if you'd grabbed it from the Macaulay family farm and let them know that those Illinoisans served in the armed forces and let them know that one of them still is. Get some pictures for me. If you want, I'll fly an Illinois flag over the U.S. NAVSEN headquarters and have Vice Admiral Miller write a letter to the ship. But I'm not even sure he's an Illinois. In fact, I think he's from Ohio. doesn't matter. I'll get this flag flown, and I'll sign their certificate and send it back to you or the ship. You'll all be great, and thanks for all that you do. So, to my fellow members of the House, with support from the US, for the USS Illinois, now coming from parts overseas, I encourage every House member to follow Commander McCauley's lead and find ways to celebrate and promote this impressive new ship named it for our great state of Illinois and her extraordinary crew both here in Springfield and back home in every community in our districts. Thank you. Thank you, Representative.